Hello everyone. We finished with the topic string operations and I added one important point as a part of string operations. If you see in all these string operation videos, I always took the data type as C or string or N. I have never taken the data types like integer, packed decimal, float. Why? Because string operation are only only applicable to those data objects having that data type, character, numeric, date, time and string. If you remember in the same playlist, we covered that topic, which data types are considered as character data types and which data types are considered as numeric data type. C, N, D, T and string are called as character data type and your string operations you can only only apply to those data object having these five data types. You cannot apply the string operation directly to those data objects having that data type integer, pad number and floating point because they are called as your numeric data type. Especially there are lots of mistakes from the beginners. They will take any data type, but string operation are only only applicable to or it only considered those data objects having that data type as character data type. Character data type means C, N, D, T and string. Suppose we will understand this by example. Suppose I will create a sample program. I will go to SC38 transaction code. You all know, yes, with the help of SC38, we can create a program. First letter will be Z or Y. Suppose I will write ZPRG underscore demo, suppose. I will click on to create button. Suppose I will write demo on string. I will go for create. I will give the title demo on string operations. I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. I will declare a data object and you all know we can declare through data statement. Data tab. Suppose I am saying LV underscore suppose data. Suppose length is 50. Type C. Suppose I am giving a value, default value. Suppose I am saying welcome to home. Suppose I am declaring three more variables or you can say three more data object. Suppose I am saying LV underscore val1. Suppose length is 10 type C. Suppose I am saying LV underscore val2 10 type C. And as of now, I took C data type. C means what? They are considered as your character data types. Now suppose I am taking a data type which is not considered as character data type. Suppose I am saying val3 type. Suppose I am writing I. I stands for integer, integer data type. And whenever you are taking integer data type, there is no need to specify the length in the brackets. There is no need to specify because integer is considered as your complete data type. 
So in case of integer, there is no need to specify the length. Suppose if I will specify the length also, SCP will give the warning that length has no impact. Length has no impact with I data type, integer data type. So I just took one where one one the character variable which has a length of 50, two variables which has a type C length 10, and one data type integer. So these three data objects having the character data type, which are considered as character data type. C is your character data type and I integer is considered as your numeric data type. Suppose I will go for split string operation. Anyways, we cover the split string operation just for the understanding. Suppose I am writing split. I am splitting this particular string. I will write at. Suppose you all know split always require a separator. So after at, suppose the separator is space. Because we have a space, yes. There is a space, there is a space. Split lv underscore data add space into. Suppose I am writing lv underscore val 1, lv underscore val 2, and lv underscore val 3. Suppose I am writing a write statement. You all know, yes, you can display or print the result through write statement. Suppose I am writing write lv underscore val 1, lv underscore val 2 and lv underscore val 3. Suppose I will check the syntax. Now SAP will give me the error. Uh, have you seen for lv underscore val 3, I am getting a error. And what the error is lv underscore val 3 must be a character like data object. It means you have to take either C, N, D, T or string because these five are considered as your character or non-numeric data type. But I took it as integer. So SAP is giving the error for the same. So I have to also take it as character data type. Suppose I'm taking the length. Now, if I will check the syntax, now you can see there is no syntax error. So, especially for the beginners, they are taking the numeric data types. Numeric data types means they are taking integer, they are taking float or packed decimal, and they are applying the string operation. String operations are only, only applicable to data objects having the character data types. Character data types means you can go for C, D, T, N, and string. Yes, N is considered as your character data type because N means numeric. It accepts the number 0 to 9. That we know very well. But internally, they store as character. So you have to take these data types only whenever you are applying the string operations. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.